guys, thank you so <laughs> Aww. Aww. guys, so today I wanted to... <laughs> Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on a highly buzzed about new product at the drugstore and that is the Nudes Palette by Maybelline. My goal is to share with you guys a really in-depth review and kind of my thoughts on, you know, what are the pros, what are the cons of this palette, but I really just wanted to share an honest review with you guys. I honestly did not plan on purchasing this palette because it's just not something that I really need in my collection. I already have several palettes that are geared toward neutral, so I just didn't see a need for this palette in my collection. In the past week, there have been a lot of videos popping up on this palette right here, and pretty much all of them that I saw were super positive and it just kind of piqued my interest and the more I started kind of looking into these videos realizing that they were sponsored by Maybelline it kind of just piqued my curiosity like is it really that good as good as they're saying or is it just because it's a sponsor video I have nothing against sponsor videos at all whatsoever but I do want to be able to trust the youtubers that I'm watching and that they're sharing an honest review This product retails for around $10, depending what drugstore you are shopping at. I actually picked mine up at CVS, and it's $12.99 at my local CVS, but the reason why I went there is I had some coupons and my extra care bucks and all that good stuff, so I actually only ended up spending $6 on it. So when you are shopping at the drugstore, make sure that you're kind of doing your research, just checking and seeing what the sales are, because you may be able to get a good deal. Um, I've already swatched it. <laughs> And I'm a really bad swatcher, so I'll have pictures up of all the swatches on my blog if you guys are interested. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe this off because it's getting everywhere. You know, I actually have to give Maybelline kudos for being the first drugstore brand to come out with a full-size palette, not just a quad or not just a trio. So let's just go ahead and just get this out of the way. The Nudes by Maybelline. Naked by Urban Decay. It does have 12 shades just like the Naked palettes do and um, another reason why I was so interested in picking up this palette was because I've heard it referred to as a dupe for the Naked palette and obviously when you're using the term dupe that means an exact duplicate you're basically getting the exact same thing as you would in the higher end version which in this case would be the Naked palette or you know the Lorac Pro palettes or neutral tones. So this shade right here is really similar to Smog in the Naked palette. This one here looks similar to uh, Hustle and then this one people are comparing to Half Baked. So I just really quickly wanted to go ahead and show you guys what those look like. One of the best shadows in the entire palette in my opinion is this bronzy color right here and this is the one that people are saying is a dupe for smog. Now this is smog right here from the Naked palette and then this is the one from the Nudes palette by Maybelline and as you can see they are really similar but it's not an exact dupe. The finish is very much the same, very um, metallic and this one's definitely, the Maybelline one is definitely a little bit warmer, whereas this one's more bronzy. This one has a bit more copper tone to it. But I do think that Maybelline did a good job with the shadow. It's got a, a nice formula. It does wear really well. All right, so another one that has been compared is this gold shimmery color. Now, this one right here is half-baked in the Urban Decay Naked palette, and this is the gold shimmery color. And as you guys can see, I mean... The payoff is nowhere near Urban Decay's, and I actually had to like build this one up in order to get it show up to show up as much as it did. So as far as the payoff of the gold one, it's really not that great. One of the reasons I've never been a huge fan of drugstore eyeshadows or quads or whatever is they're so hit and miss. You know, you may purchase a quad and it may have one good eyeshadow in it and the rest are just like either really bad quality or they're just okay. That very much still rings true with the nudes palette. So I'm going to kind of take you through which ones are good quality, which ones maybe are not the greatest. So one thing that I do think is really cool is the way that they have everything placed in the pan. They have them placed in quads, and so they have 
all of the shadows kind of um, grouped together so that you can get a really nice look from them. Maybe you are new to eyeshadows or you're still not really sure how to kind of pair your eyeshadows. Um, it's really cool because you can get a really good look using these four right here, these four in the middle, and then these four on the other side. And I do think they have a good variety of shades because here you can get a very cool tone, smoky effect. Here are some very warm shades, and then these are just really good neutral shades that you could use, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. The idea is that you can also use them in trios, um, the way that they're outlined, and then you can also pair them up and just use two shadows. Well, I think they put a lot of thought into how they were going to place them in the pans, and I think it really does make it really user-friendly, especially to those who may be new to makeup and just kind of learning and experimenting. So I'm holding it upside down because my window is kind of like giving a glare. The nudes I think does give a really nice variety of warm tones. Um, these right here obviously are really warm but other than that it does give you very cool tones which actually I'm pretty excited about because that's just not something that I gravitate toward um, on a day-to-day -day basis for myself. I really like warm shades. Warm shades are really flattering on everyone and um, so I thought it was kind of cool that you know this does give me a chance to play around with some cooler tones that I'm not really used to. It's kind of pushing me outside of my comfort zone a little bit. And there's also a really good mix of shimmery shadows and matte shadows. But um, So I really like the finishes that they've included here in this palette. But I actually did a look today just kind of mixing and matching several different shades. But I was pretty impressed, I have to admit, by um, the payoff of several of these shades. Now, I do have to work a little bit harder at blending some of them. I have to work a little bit more building up the color of some of them than I would say a higher end version, but you have to, you know, consider the fact that you're paying $10 for this one and in the $50 range for the other palettes. So, you know, it is a trade-off. I really, really do like the payoff of these two colors right here. I love the payoff and the blendability of the um, transition shades that are a little bit more of a matte or a satin finish. I like this matte highlight here. It's a really good way to kind of tone down. Uh, if you get color too far up, it's a really good way to kind of bring it back down and kind of blend everything out. The shades that I'm the most disappointed in, and it's much like their other quads and other drugstore eyeshadows, are the highlight shades. And I'll just show you guys. You can see that you can build it up enough to get a decent payoff, but keep in mind that this is using your finger. If you're using a brush, you're not going to be able to get that intensity. So if you do want to build that highlight up, I would suggest using your fingers. I I used a brush today on the inner corner and I don't even know if you guys can tell but to me in the camera it looks like it's just really not even picking up the highlight very much at all. When I purchased this palette I did so knowing that I was going to hate the palette and that I was going to be you know just awful and I was going to give a really negative review on it and say don't buy it. It's just not good at all. I actually think it is a decent palette and I do think you can work with it and it is does give you some great options. I would say it depends. You know, if you are like me and you have a ton of eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes and you already have neutral palettes, then I would say you don't need it in your collection. However, if you are new to makeup, if you're looking to kind of experiment a little bit more with eyeshadows and you are on a budget, definitely I think that this is a great option for you. I think that it is really versatile. You can get a lot of looks from it. I actually did want to mention that I decided to use it to fill in my eyebrows too because I wanted to see you know, how much functionality I could get out of it. I used this shade right here to fill in my eyebrows and these right here would be good options as well, depending on what your coloring is. But this one right here is a really good universal shade that people with darker hair like me could use. Or um, even people with blonde hair could use it because it's very taupey and ashy and it doesn't have any warm tones in it. So it would be great for um, filling in your eyebrows. So I do think that this is a really functional palette. You know, when you're looking at spending $10 versus $50, I do think that, you know, this is a good bang for your buck, if you will. 
I do think I'll probably do a tutorial using this palette, uh, maybe a couple of tutorials, so that you guys can see, you know, entire looks that you can get just from using this one palette from the drugstore. Let me know in the comments below if there are specific tutorials that you would like to see, maybe something that's daytime appropriate, uh, maybe something that's a little more smoky, a little more dramatic, or maybe even how to transition between the two. So yeah, I really hope that this made sense because I had a lot of thoughts <laughs> and a lot of mixed emotions about the palette. But overall, I think that Maybelline did a good job. My hope is that one day that all drugstore eyeshadows will be just really good quality because in my opinion, I think that's the one area where pretty much all drugstore brands are just really lacking. You know, I do like, I've mentioned before, I do like the Wet n Wild eyeshadows, the Color Icon shadows. Um, but again, those can be a little hit and miss, and they're all pretty much shimmery. They don't offer a lot of variety in the finishes. Like, but I would really like to see other drugstore brands follow suit in, you know, a full palette, and maybe even branching out from the neutrals and doing some really fun colors. That would be really fun and awesome to see, and, you know, hopefully they would be good quality. If you do have any specific questions that maybe I didn't cover in this video, please let me know. And I haven't mentioned in a video yet, but I am in the process of giving my blog a makeover. So if you haven't visited my blog, it looks very, very different than it did even a month ago. And um, it's still a work in progress, but I'm really, really proud of it because I'm doing it all myself. And uh, I've just had a lot of great, encouraging feedback from it. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you go and I'll link it, all that stuff below. And I'm really looking forward to um, some things that I have planned for the next couple of weeks. So make sure that you guys are checking back. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!